The valedictorian at Washington Lee High School, Leah was not satisfied with completing a standard high school curriculum and took advantage of the opportunity to earn a two-year associate's degree from Rappahannock Community College through night and distance courses taken concurrently with her regular coursework. No stranger to competition, Leah was an exceptional talent on the athletic fields. Serving as a captain of both her cross country and soccer teams as a 10th grader, she's about to get mad at me, but <laughs> she was also a state champion wrestler. <laughs> and she earned all region honors in track. I'm so jealous right now. <laughs> when not on the pitch, she put her oratorical skills to work in earning recognition as an original oratory state champion. Her leadership skills were evident through her election as the governor of Girls State and initiating her own fundraising initiative as a volunteer director and president of a call to serve volunteer club at her school, supplying mosquito nets for children in Orisha, Tanzania. I'm not the only one feeling inadequate here, am I? <laughs> not one to be satisfied with past achievement, Leah was, has accumulated an impressive record of leadership and work experience while at the university. Her work as a Highland Fellow at the Highland Support Project in Peru has given Leah an opportunity to showcase her ability to invest her time and energy in a cause that engages her multiple talents in language, social entrepreneurship, nonprofit methodology, and consulting. She is heavily involved in the UGA Social Entrepreneurship Initiative Steering Committee to help craft an appropriate social entrepreneurship curriculum at the university and remains involved in organizations devoted to global development and faith. Leah is the founder and coordinator for the Jefferson Round, organizing weekly discussions hosted by residents of the lawn in true or competitive spirit. She has also been involved in the UVA Club Cross Country Team, the Jefferson Literary Debating Society, and she has also been awarded multiple grants for research and initiatives ranging from business modeling to poverty alleviation practices. I could go on more with Leah's involvement in academic achievement at the university, but I know it is safe to say that her impact in the last three years has been significant to not only the university community, but communities worldwide. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Leah J. Good evening, family, friends, and fellow scholars, and a special welcome to the class of 2017. You are Jefferson scholars. Sons and daughters of Jimmy, success in high school was a gimme. You were captain of your sports team, homecoming queen, mathlete, research geek, founder of an NGO, and ready to go above and beyond expectations. You were gifted and equally praised. Straight A's and no sense malaise because you were confident, perhaps arrogant, unsure of where you were going, but you could make people believe you were already halfway there. <laughs> a big fish in a small pond, you, I, was strong. Or at least I thought I was. During my first year at UVA, the word most frequently used to describe me was intense. <laughs> I wasn't sure of what I wanted to study, but you could bet your money that I could make people think I did. I shared struggles in neatly wrapped packages, always sure to include a list of lessons learned, mistakes corrected, wisdom acquired. I was on a roll, and in control. Repping a 3.9, the world was mine. Planning to major in commerce, I would have laughed at the thought of me writing free verse. But my worth was tied up in temporal things. I was on a path to financial security, but lacked emotional maturity. Because what I thought was strength was pride. Too proud to be wrong, too proud to be weak, too busy to think about how I was changing and growing or where I was going, continually showing others that I was in control. Perhaps I sound a bit melodramatic, but only in an effort to be emphatic about what I say next. For people like you and me, strength is allowing ourselves to be weak. It is the willingness to let friends in and feelings out. It is allowing yourselves to doubt. Strength is admitting that you don't have it together. It is accepting the be with humility. 
Strength is giving yourself grace in the face of adversity. It is vulnerability. Strength is knowing that you could still love yourself, even if your activities, accolades, and GPA were wiped clean from your resume. And this strength is only found in community. Unfortunately, I didn't have that figured out my first year. <laughs> I shared a room with a fellow Jefferson scholar, Ms. Kaz Komalafe, who is now the editor-in-chief of the Cavalier Daily. If I was intense, then Kaz was truly inspiring. We shared a room, but we didn't share our lives. We both, along with many of my fellow scholars, spent too much time inside our own heads, counting our extracurriculars, comparing ourselves to one another, trying to determine which club, activity, or cause was going to be our thing. Rather than leaning on each other, we were competing against one another. First year can be hard. Many of you will struggle in classes or with personal dilemmas. Some of you will be rejected from clubs or positions or have a bad experience with sorority or fraternity rush. And many of you will be tempted to conceal those trials from one another, to bear those burdens alone. And on top of a deep need to maintain composure, some of you may also find yourselves deeply insecure in the presence of the amazing minds and personalities that fill this room. This insecurity came to the surface for me at the Summer Leadership Institute. I didn't speak very much during the seminars, because I was too afraid to say something that might make me look stupid. After one seminar in particular, I remember going for a run to avoid crying. Being a significantly wiser fourth year and having injured both of my feet, these days uh, I stick to releasing my feelings to large dinner crowds through confessions. <laughs>
So though I am not espousing that we cast woolwork to the side, wear our hearts on our sleeves, gather together for an agape meal and sing kumbaya, <laughs> I do urge each of you to skip the counting and comparing. His success and hers are not mutually exclusive. And how do you measure success anyways? There is no club you must join, major you should or shouldn't pursue, no job that you have to take to be welcome here and to be successful here. As another scholar said in this very speech last year, write your story and be proud of and excited for your fellow scholars as they write theirs. Be honest with one another and have fun together. Find, find a home and find strength in this community. Because when you allow yourself to be poured into, picked up, and loved by those around you, that is when you will achieve your best. It is in community, not in the depths of your own neural kingdom, that you will either discover your thing or embrace the fact that you don't have one. <laughs> you are Jefferson Scholars. Recognized for your leadership, citizenship, and scholarship, you are tenacious, talented, tough young men and women. You are capable and competent, and sometimes capricious. And you are not alone. You are part of a community of like-minded but beautifully diverse individuals. Individuals ready to support you if you would only stop judging yourself. So don't be too proud to be wrong, too proud to be weak, too busy to think about how you are changing and growing or where you are going, but have the strength. The strength to allow yourself to be weak. The willingness to let friends in and feelings out. Allow yourselves to doubt. Have the strength to admit that you don't have it together. Accept the B with humility. Find strength in this community because we will still love you even if your activities, accolades, and GPA are wiped clean from your resume. Even better, lean on this community because if you're going to see further, it will be by standing on the shoulders of giants. Congratulations and welcome to the Jefferson Scholars Class of 2017. You have joined a community of giants, and we are more than happy to support you on our shoulders.